So about a week ago, I watched a video that a YouTube animator posted, and this is an animator that I adore. No, idolize, no. Worship. I mean, this person is like superior to everyone, and that person is Yo-Yo808. And then I watched a Swoozy video afterwards. <laughs> nah, but in that video that Swoozy posted, he talked about some L's that he's taken in his life, and at the end, tagged some creators to make the same video. Um, I think I should share in the L's. So I'm gonna tag some people. I'm gonna tag Alex Clark, Lord DIY, let's tag Yo Yo 808. So since Swoozy asked me, I will confess some L's that I have experienced in my life. So one day I'm working out, and this was during early COVID, so all the gyms were closed, and I was using a garage. This is actually the same garage that I brought that one girl to in my Tinder story. But before I start my workout, I peep that it's raining, so the leak in the ceiling caused a puddle to be in the middle of the floor. And I'm wearing slides and socks, so me not wanting to get anything wet, unlike the last time I was in the garage. <laughs> I put a yoga mat over the puddle and go on about my business. So I begin my exercise, get a few reps in, and start pacing back and forth, hyping myself up for the next set. And adrenaline is up, bro. I got high energy music in my ears, enough caffeine to kill a baby elephant in my bloodstream. I'm about to kill it. On my walk back to the weights, I step on that mat to get to the bench. Zero traction, bro. I have never gone from standing vertical to being horizontal and five feet above the ground that quickly in my life, bro. It was painful, but the worst part was my body flung so violently from stepping on that mat that my phone flew out of my hand. That hole most definitely broke. Speaking of broke, the next story takes place around the time I had just started my channel. I didn't have a job yet and I was still living in my mom's place and her not being too keen on my decision to not go to college, live in her house rent free, eat all of her food so I can pursue drawing pictures on the internet. She took my phone. Now anyone knows to do this live off the internet stuff, you need to have a phone. So I go to one of my homies. Yo, Ben. And I'm like, bro, Bill Gates is single now? Ben. How, bro, how are you the CEO of Microsoft and you can't keep your girl? Like, I guess the company name fits. Ben. Like, bro. Ben. Yo, yo, what's good, dog? Bro, you have like three phones, right? Can, can I borrow one? My mom took mine and, yo, you know, I need to run my channel. Uh, yeah, that's cool. This one is old, so it has some problems, but you can, you can have it. So my friend Ben, who for some reason always has like two or three phones on him, lets me use one of his old phones. So fast forward after that school year, I'm still using the phone and I'm in Columbia, South Carolina visiting my grandma's house. It's like 3 a.m. and I'm doing what all teenage boys do at 3 a.m. Making YouTube videos. And then I start watching the hustle. So I'm watching this one video, but then the screen freezes, but the audio keeps playing. So I'm trying to figure out how to fix it, but then my Bluetooth headphones disconnect. And I had my volume all the way up. So I start panicking. At this point, I'm pressing hella buttons. I'm touching the screen, trying to turn this thing off. I hold the power button. I see the slider to turn the phone off. So I slide, nothing. I slide again and again and again. And now I'm panicking because I'm at my very Christian grandma's house at 3 a.m. And there is a woman hitting symphony three alto vibrato high notes out loud on my phone that I'm not even supposed to have. I have to think of something and I have to think of it fast. So I decide to let the video finish and wait it out. I put like two pills on the phone, five minutes pass and it stops. I take off the pillows and another video plays since when does the hub have autoplay better question who has the stamina to watch it on autoplay so i start frantically sliding the power slider on the screen and after like 20 attempts it finally slides oh no not the power off slider <laughs> the sos emergency call 91169 slider a screen pops up saying it'll call the cops in three seconds keep in mind a girl is still getting her insides rearranged out loud still i try to press the cancel button but my screen isn't working my phone is about to takashi me bro the timer starts oh no stop come on please just work no wait hello 911 how may i take your order uh, uh hi uh, i'm sorry but my phone screen won't work hello I can't hear you. Hey, no, I'm good. Sorry. It's just my screen won't work. Can you, are you okay? Another video plays on the phone. Wait, what is that? Is this some type of joke? Wait, how did you recognize the song? I can send the police to your place right now. Wait, no, you don't understand. Yo, Jerry, this dude's watching the hub. The what? 
Man, I swear these officers aren't turning these niggas into hashtags fast enough. Okay, okay, it didn't exactly happen like that, but I'm positive the guy knew what was playing out loud in the background and wasn't a fan. But I tried to explain in between strokes that my phone screen stopped working at a very compromising time and that I accidentally called and eventually he gets it and hangs up. And I guess since my phone had a call, it like fixed me. Because when he hung up the phone, it started working again. And then I went right back to the video. That girl was going crazy. Back when I was in sixth grade middle school, I didn't know how to segue the topic. I was in PE and my coach announced that we were gonna play basketball and that he was gonna separate us into multiple four man teams for a tournament. This was because only half of the gym was available because the drama club was like preparing for a play or, or something. So the coach begins separating us into groups and I'm selected to join the yellow jersey team. And when I put on that jersey, the looks on the faces of all the players on the yellow team lit up they acted as if lebron himself put on the jersey or something why well i was one of the very few black kids in the gym and i was the tallest on the team duh so after fitting their fingers for their championship rings my teammates welcome me to the team we get to the court and face the red jersey team the coach throws the ball one of my teammates hits it and passes it to me Shocker. I see someone come from my right to try to block me. I get past them. I jump. I shoot. Money. All I did was a simple jump shot. It wasn't even a three, but bro, the way that my team reacted, I might as well have crossed everyone on the team at the same time, waited at the goal for someone to block me, and then windmill under the leg, got, got, front flip, dunked on one of my opponents. Like, nuts in the face and everything. So the commotion my team was making, obviously, attracted other people to the gym. So everyone's watching this game. The other team has the ball. They're making their way down the court. They shoot but miss we rebound it it gets passed to me shocker i dribble i jump i shoot the ball goes right out the front door bro the first shot was a fluke they didn't realize that i suck at basketball okay i just have melanin and long legs <laughs> i'm not a baller okay i get the ball and walk back to the gym and my team looks like they're mad at me for not being good like sorry nigga that's that's not fair it shouldn't matter if you're asian latino white not white you should have the right to be tall and not good at basketball anyways after my team realizes that i'm a disgrace to the black community they just don't pass to me the game goes on and i'm not doing anything for a while but then the ball gets passed to this dude on the other team and i always notice that he fakes and goes left every time he has the ball so i think this this is my chance. I have to redeem myself. He runs up to me and I say with my eyes, you are not getting past me. And he says with his eyes, challenge accepted. Ooh. He runs up and fakes right as I predicted and then goes left as I predicted. I stick up my hand, lunge and grab nothing but fucking air. This nigga somehow found a way to get to the other side of my body. I genuinely don't know how. I literally saw him on my left. There is no reason all as to why a human being should be moving that fast like bro if you don't stop playing basketball and play for the avengers i stick up my left leg to try to pivot my body the other way and then i hit the ground this nigga stole my ankles yo i'm on the ground and i see him make the shot but before my brain can even process what happened i hear oh, oh! and honestly i would rather they laughed at me than that that was <laughs> I get up, I dust myself off, and we proceed to lose the game. Let's just say you definitely will not see me play oh my a YouTuber God, one that one basketball game. Hang on some blue demons, I feel like I'm Zuko. Yeah. I can draw a four or five, I be playing Uno. First I put a mask on, uh, and my doom, bro. Put, put, put a nigga's face in a box like a Zoom I call. Feed it like a gem bait. Ooh. Yeah, get these niggas pain, you don't tense uh, Yeah, these niggas the same, I be pissed, uh, Chop, 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 and make a nigga say bye, 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 like I'm playing in sync. Baby lame, that shit not be me, uh, riding with my team, uh, she be sending signals trying to figure what they need, uh, I want all the green, uh, I be off a bean, uh, wait, uh, you don't want me as an enemy, uh, I can't fuck with you cause you on the other team, on some blue demons, I feel like I'm Zuko, I can draw a four or five, I be playing Uno, first I put a mask on, uh, and my doom, bro, put, put, put a nigga's face in a box like a Zoom call,